Hello. Good yes, morning. Us. Yes. Hello. Good morning. Yes. Hello and welcome. <laughs> now, today, Lula is going to be cooking meze. Now, meze is that sort of wonderful variety of dishes that yep. is roughly equivalent to, to Spanish tapas, That's isn't it? That's right. Lots of different things. Lots of bits and pieces. Yeah. You know. Nothing, not a great huge plate no, of one no, thing, but lots no. of little uh, servings of yeah, lots of different things, lovely. which is fun. Yes. And these are some of the things the that kind you, of things that you, you might, find in a uzzeria or a taverna yes, in Greece. Yes, yes. Uh, that sort of the meatballs. That's, that's right. We've got that's the meatballs right. that you're about to find. Yeah. The mother, stafai leaves, mm. spanako di robitake, spinach, mm. and feta cheese pastry. Sometimes right. they're just stuffed with feta. Cheese. That's this, this sort of crumbly that's white right. cheese. That's right. Beautiful. Yes. That Greeks adore. Yeah. And yeah. they eat it every day. Yes. Plus with olives and olives yogurt. Olives and yogurt and yes, all those and sorts of, course, of things. Nice olive bread there to go right, with Right, right. And I'm going to be choosing drinks to go with what you are cooking. Okay. And there are various sort of yeah. rules. You've got, the, you've got the rules that retsina goes quite well with the fried dishes, the fried vegetable Definitely, dishes, fried yeah. fish dishes. Mm -hmm. Or you can get ouzo, dry white wine, with some of the other sort of softer, gentler fish dishes. That's right. And it, that sort of thing. And those today, two are the drinks that yeah, always go with mozzellas. You're right. Absolutely. So uh, today you're going to be doing... Uh, I've been making lots of things really today, yeah. mazeva dishes. I'm mm. going to start with Escordaglia and Solo's my son. Can you believe he's my son? No, he can't be. I'm not old enough, brother. am I? Certainly no, not. No, no. <laughs> He'd be helping me with the, preparing the food. Right. So as I said, I'm going to start with Escordaglia, yeah. which is the very typical Greek dip that you yes. find in Isaria and yes. a taverna. Uh, the basic ingredients is garlic and potato. Yeah, yeah. And this will go really well with the things I'm going to cook. I'm going to fry some calamari, baby right. calamari. Uh -huh. That goes very well. And also I'm going to be frying some crochets. Terrific. Fritters. And, ex and the kind of place where you can get all these together is the equivalent, the Greek equivalent of the tapas bar, the ouzeri. Yes, that's and right. And there was one you visited in Thessaloniki, in Thessaloniki, wasn't it? Yes. I've got lovely memories, especially about the octopus. Ah. It was a beautiful octopus. This is a great marketplace uh, spot right here. It's called the Nuzeri. You know what that is. I know what it is, but a lot of people don't know the difference. So. Well, the, the specialty of the house is Uzo here, as opposed to perhaps wine. Yeah, that's and true. it's primarily a place for lunch where wine and ouzo are incidental rather than being the purpose for coming yeah. here. And you'll see what a great lunch it is. Yeah. So you can... Έχω καλαμάρι γεμιστό, τα ποτάκια στα κάρβουνα, καλαμάρι τηγανιτό, μυδοπύλαφο, σουπιέ στη πάδο. Think of all that stuff, stuff. Shall we try the stuff calamari? Yes, yes, that would be really nice. And I also like to try some octopus. Oh, for sure. How is that cooked? I wonder. We have to cook it. And then you put it on the charcoal, grill it quickly. Yes, that's right. And then you put it on the charcoal, grill it quickly. And then you put it on the charcoal, grill it quickly. And it's a great accompaniment for the user. Yeah, I haven't had that before, so I'm very tempted to try some of that. Well, this place, you know, you can probably be served 20, 30 things and mm. never have the same thing twice. Yeah. And it's, 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 it's nice where it is, isn't it? Well, it's in the middle of the marketplace. Market. You can come and do your shopping, yeah. you shop for food, mm. and just a block away for clothing and everything else. Yeah. It's a classic bazaar of the old world. The yeah. Saloniki is famous for this. Yeah. And then you come here, rest, and have a delicious lunch. And of course, I can look mm. at that. Yeah, there so is the octopus, yeah. grilled, yeah. beautiful, white, tender meat. Yeah. It's very tender. And that's the stuff squid. Pine nuts and uh, uh, cheese. Rice. Yes. And I bet it's a little piquant. I see the red, the yeah. telltale yeah. color of Picante the pepper. Go. A little bit spicy, huh? Eh? Absolutely. Yeah. And as you can see, the inside mm. of the squid, the stuffing there is beautiful. Yeah. Pine nuts, yeah. rice. Tell me, does this taverna open at night? 
Time they are open at yeah. night, but it's primarily a daytime place. A daytime place. place. Oh, and there are the wild greens. Oh. These have been picked on the hillsides. Yeah. They usually, the old ladies in their black dress will go and Early in the take morning. them out on the ground yeah. and sell them in the market that very day. They're very tender. And very they're good for you as well. And here is our uzo. Mm. Well, we must have uzo. Absolutely. In an uzeria, you of have course. to have uzo. Of course. Well. And here is the proprietor. Ah. Stiniyasas. Stiniyasas, que ya está queriasas, que gales duyes. This is the real traditional thing. Look how wonderful the cheese bits are on top. I bet you don't see that very often. No. And the whole chunks of eggplant yeah. and the meat sauce. Uh, yeah. This is usually lamb. That's the yeah, the traditional lamb, isn't it? Yeah. And I think I can smell the spicing, the which smell. is quite sweet spicing. Mm. Bit of, bit of cinnamon, a bit of do you cinnamon think? and yes. a bit of nutmeg. Yeah. But this That's again is northern is. Greece. Yeah. The Athenians would never put nutmeg. They wouldn't think of that, eh? <laughs> That's right. Oh, we must try some of that so. as well. Oh. Ah, and here, mm. here comes the poor man's lunch. That's right. This is cod, salt Tricot, cod. Tricot, isn't it? Yeah. Right. In a beautiful dough. Please. It's always served with cordalia. But this cordalia is not with bread. It's not garlic and bread. It's garlic and potato, isn't it, usually? Exactly. I don't know what else we're going to order. Uh, huh? Would you like another Some bit of, of the media? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, media. The media me torizi. Yeah. Mussels are, of course, fished in these seas yeah. very, very much. These mussels come probably from just a few miles from here. From here, yeah. And the traditional way of preparing them, besides in saganaki in yeah. a frying pan with cheese, is with a very nice pila, mm, which pilaf. flavors the rice mm. beautifully. Mm. The whole thing is cooked together in a big pot. The mussels uh, mm. give the taste, the flavor to the rice. And then mm. you can see what a they beautiful thing lovely. it is. And uh, it's unusual to see rice, many rice dishes in, uh, mm -hmm. in Greece, isn't it? So, but uh, this is a favorite. It's very, a classic, yeah. and you can see the pine nuts in there. Pine nuts in here yeah, as well. There's oh, pine yeah. nuts, and of course there's lots of dill. Yeah. A What's the best of way green to eat onion. this? Uh, <laughs> it's always messy. You just yeah. grab it with your hand. Mm. Mm. And do they your are best. lovely. Delicious, isn't that? Mm. And the best. Part of Populous. it is that you can have a bit of ouzo or wine, never get drunk by having this wonderful food with it, and it just goes perfectly together. You've never seen any Greeks drunk in the streets, have you? Well, in that case, can you fill my glass, please? I certainly will. Here you go. Those look terrific. Uh, I, the thing I particularly like was that, that fried octopus. Oh, my favorite was the smoke. Octopus. That was. Oh, was that beautiful. the one hanging up on the hook? Yes, yeah. Oh Have yes. You seen it? Yes, oh, I did. Yes, lovely. I love octopus. Now I'm going to leave you to cook your scovalia, and right. I'm going to come back and taste it later. Great. If I may. We'll see you later with your Great. wines as well. Yes. Okay. Now I need to call Solos for this one. Solos, would you like to uh, come and help me? Now I'm going to start with scovalia sauce. Now the main ingredients is boiled potatoes. Boil your potatoes as though you're uh, uh, making mash. All right, and we need four cloves of garlic. Now put your garlic in, in one of these with a bit of salt and mash it really well. Now you can use a blender if you like, but uh, I prefer it this way. Right, add your garlic in your potato. I hope you're mashing well there, Solas. I'm trying hard. <laughs> right. We we'll put a little bit of uh, pepper. Now the me next ingredient is olive oil. Right? You probably need about four tablespoons of olive oil, or if you're like me, a bit more. 
All right. We also need a little bit of vinegar. I'm going to put about two tablespoons of vinegar. Now, if you don't like vinegar, use lemon juice. It doesn't matter. Also, I kept a little bit of the juice from my potatoes. So I'm going to add a little bit of this to thin my mixture. Let's see. Shall we put a little bit more solos? Just a touch. All right. Right. We'll put a little bit of salt as well. Right. Did I put pepper before? Did, yeah. Yes. Let me just taste a little now. Mmm. That was lovely. And that's it. Our scoralia is ready. All right, Solas. Let's dish this out. Right, Charles, would you like to come and taste my scordaglia yes. sauce, please? Yes, Is it really ready? Yummy, yummy. Now, what's would the traditional you... way to taste scordaglia? Should well, I? Well, um... you can taste it with your fish if you have yeah, some, yeah. or with your uh, fried uh, vegetables. But why don't you cut a piece of bread? Now, Good idea. Charles, don't yeah. use a knife. Use your really? hand. Yes, really? Greeks never use a knife when they're cutting bread because oh, really? they say bread is blessed, blessed by oh, God. Oh, really? Okay, well, right. that's a nice All we need of... now, let me just decorate this before you start eating. You're right, okay. I want it to look, oh, that look looks perfect. Beautiful. Okay, Charles, would you like to taste that? Yummy, with great pleasure. Hmm. Lovely, yeah? That's wonderful. Mm. Now, if you've missed any of the, um, the amounts of the things that we had in Lula's recipes, don't worry, because we'll come back with them later. But now it's time for a break. We'll be back in a couple of minutes with fried calamari, buttered courgettes, and, of course, I'll have some drinks to go with the food. Oh, don't lovely. go away. I can't wait for that. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>